the, uh, I put my face on today. Not so much for you guys. Me and the hubs, we're going to the mall. Oh yeah, hot date. wearing my Sith happens. <laughs> All right, so I have a haul for you and let's just get started. All right, first one is from Neat and Tangled. That's, oh, that's so cute. So there's some sequins that she threw in. Oh, and these are the ones that don't have the holes. Those are cool. I've never seen them in person before. Those are really cool. Um, so I got um, the blog planner stamp set. And uh, this stamp set has, you know, like, I don't, I'm not big on stamping in my planner. But I have owned planner stamps in the past. And I like the idea, of, and this one's geared towards, like, card maker blogs. So there's things like take photos, check email, comment, blog hop, send pretty mail, release week, write post, giveaway, create, announce winner, and all of that stuff. And there's like this, the really, what I really wanted was this box with the check marks because I like to check things off. So um, I that's from Neat and Tangled. It's called Blog Planner. Um, and then I got, I saw a video from Tara Sell, and I'll try to link her down below. And um, <clears throat> she did this beautiful um, no-line distress marker coloring um, card, and I was, I loved it. It was, it's so beautiful. And I really, so when I went shopping, I saw this. This one is called Bloom. Um, it's all, it's neat and tangled and I want to no line color this. <laughs> so it says you are beautiful inside and out and bloom where you are planted. And so those are very large, um, scripty sentiments. And so, you know, bought that one. And then the, this is actually, well, this is a stencil. Uh, it's called it's Simply Stencils. And it's a balloon, balloon duo stencils. And you can, I want to use them, you know, to spritz. I want to do some spritzing for the balloons. <laughs> so, and, um, well, I just, I have an addiction to balloons. Anytime I see balloon stamps or dyes or a, a critter holding a balloon or just a balloon, any balloon type, anything, I, I really, that's, it's an issue. I have a balloon issue. So um, I got this. <laughs> and it's really cool because they're both different. There's two stencils here and you can put them both together or use one on, on its own. And so I really like that. And then I got some things from their new release. I got so many sentiments and these are so good. Um, <clears throat> There's, they say, I'm so glad we're friends. I miss you every day. I believe in you. Happy, happy birthday. I'm here for you. You make me happy. I like you ever so much. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. You can do hard things. Uh, you, you can count on me. Thanks for being there for me. You are all kinds of awesome. <clears throat> Sound like a teenage boy. Always look on the bright side. You are so brave. You are the reason I smile today. Dream big. Your friendship means so much to me. So <clears throat> I got that. That's called So Many Sentiments. And then I got this ride with me with the, um, the bike and the little critters riding the bike. And you can, it reminds me, it's reminiscent of the Stampin' Up! Uh, loads of love where you can like put different things in the basket and then it has like a little wagon that you can pull behind you and put like furniture in there and of course there's a balloon <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but there's also like this little trio of hearts and I just really love it and it has sentiments that say moving day celebrate life is a beautiful ride coming soon <clears throat> yeah and 
it's super cute. And there's like this little porcupine type critter and he's adorable. So that's what I got from Neat and Tangled. I hate sometimes wearing my hair down because it gets in the way. So if by the end of this video it's in a ponytail, that's why. So I can't not open the packages. I can't some things that I order like I really want to play with them so like trying to like do an unboxing oh my gosh that is like the hardest video ever to make so yeah I opened it it's already open <laughs> this one is from Faber Castell and I um I love coloring with colored pencils I always have since I was a kid but I really like um, the lines that colored pencils make, okay? So that it looks almost like crayons, you know? Like, it has a colored pencil feel. So Copics, you have no lines, you have no, um, like it blends really well, it's beautiful and bright, but colored pencils, I mean, you can use Gamsol and melt the wax and make everything blend together, and that's, that's one look, but I really, really like when you use colored pencils and you have those lines, like the colored pencil, like you colored with a colored pencil. I, I really think that that's beautiful. And there are some card makers out there that just do that to perfection. And um, so I was in Hobby Lobby and I saw this display and it said Faber-Castell Gold Faber colored pencils. So of course I bought like a handful, grays and greens and stuff that I knew that I was going to use. And I loved them. Okay. Then I went back literally the next day and bought all the rest that they had available. So, and I bought this case <laughs> in Hobby Lobby. So I have them all here and I have a little swatch thing. And then I noticed on Faber-Castell's website that I did not have all the colors. That's unacceptable. So <laughs> I ordered all 48 colors from Faber-Castell. Um, and if you like the that type of look, um, try these. If you have a Hobby Lobby close to you, go grab a few see if you like them. If you like them, they have 48 different colors. There's two um, sections here in my little box and I'll, I'll show you a close up. Um, I wish that they had more grays, of course, but these color pencils are fabulous and I really, I would really recommend them. So that was what I got from Faber Castell. You said to show you all the things. <laughs> so, um, this is my box from scrapbook.com and I also opened it. The first thing <laughs> that I ordered that I could not not play with is the sidekick. <laughs> this thing is so cute. All right. So, I have the Gemini right behind me and I have the big shot up there that I pull down sometimes. Um, but I am often cutting smaller dies, like just little tiny things. And it, it's ridiculous sometimes to put this little heart that is like smaller than your thing. It fits in your pinky nail in the big machine. So I, I was on a mission because there are several of these little little guys out there. There's Spellbinders has them, Sizzix has them, Altenew has one. Um, they're quite popular right now. So I wanted the one that I wanted and it was really down between this one and the Altenew one. And the only reason I chose the Sidekick instead of the Altenew. Altenew has a larger opening. I believe their opening is about three inches and this one's two and a half. And when you're, when you have a half inch discrepancy, that's a big, um, uh, difference in card making. And I, I really hemmed and hauled and the Altenew one is so cute with the pretty flowers, but 
ultimately I chose this one because it locks down to my surface. Like this thing is not coming up. And I being a very functional type person, I love that it had a three inch opening, but I really wanted to be able to use it and not be frustrated. So that's why I got this one. So I chose the big kick or the sidekick rather. And it comes in this, I got the Stephanie Bernard one. I didn't really care what it came with. I got it on sale for like less than 40 bucks. Okay. It comes with two, um, plates. It comes with an embossing. This is, that's another thing. This one will emboss the Alta new, um, small machine. I can't remember what they're called. I'm sorry what their small machine is called. Um, but this one has an embossing function. I don't know how important that is to you. Not sure it's very important to me either, but more function is better. So <clears throat> this one is the Stephanie Bernard and it came with the pink plates and these little heart dies. They have different, scrapbook.com has different um, packages, package die cutting package deals. You should look look through because the, some of them are quite good that come with dies. Um, this one, and these are both, like it has the frame and the inside portion, so or the shadow and the inside portion. And then it comes with this little tiny embossing folder. I don't know if I'll ever use this, but look how cute it is. I mean... Anyway, that's that's the first thing that I had to play with. So it, it's been used. <laughs> those are going to be my son's toys, those boxes. So um, my goal is to have probably all of the Distress Oxide inks. <laughs> And if you can tell, like I have some distress ink that is still taking up my space, okay? And I don't want that. I want the cubes. So, and I also want ink blending tools for all the distress oxides. I know it's insane, but you told me to share all of these things <laughs> with you. So I've got one, two, three four, five, so ten ink blending tools to add to my collection. And then I started to replace the ink cubes that are taking up my little slots here. So I'm going to put those on my Etsy store for probably like a buck or something. So if you want the big Distress Oxide inks, make sure you look there in the next couple weeks because it'll probably be on there. Um, I have some other D-stash type items that I'm going to list there uh, on my in my Etsy shop. Um, and I, I really don't do it to try to like make money, so the stuff is like really cheap. Anyway, um, so I have replacement inks, cubes, for all of those. But then I got some of the new Distress Oxide inks. I got Squeeze Lemonade. I've got Carved Pumpkin. I've got Bundled Sage. I've got Hickory Smoke. I've got Mermaid Lagoon. I've got Evergreen Bow. Is that right? Bow? Evergreen Bow? Bow, Bow. I don't know. The blueprint sketch. Shoes. 
shaded lilac. and Tattered Rose. So that is my haul for the end of February or beginning of February. Beginning of, beginning to mid-February. <laughs> uh, I don't have any other orders coming to me right this second, but you never know. There might be more this month. Who knows? <laughs> okay. So I want to thank you guys for watching and um, leave leave me comments down below. I love to hear from you. Um, try to find me on Instagram. Um, I share a lot in my Instagram. Probably too much. I'm an oversharer on Instagram. And um, I'll, I'll talk to you again in another video.